<clears throat> Greetings everybody, week uh, 15 update. I'm Harold, so says my name tag. And this is the Umstead Trail Marathon, which I ran in April. That was fun. Um, week 15, well, um, I will get to that in two minutes. I would first like to start off with um, the last two weeks for me have been absolutely incredible. I have had like all of the great things happening to me in the last two weeks. Uh, you know, we all struggle through our daily lives, our weeks, you know, we all go through this. Um, I'm gonna shout out to the good times when they happen. And I've had a phenomenal last two weeks uh, be it training, be it work, be it all these other personal things in my life. Um, I'll share a couple of them with you. I mean, seriously, the last two weeks have just been off the chart, ridiculously good times. Like there were many small things that I'm just gonna forget that were even a great addition to this. Um, the first part of the week, two weeks ago, um, I went in for my cancer screening and I'm two years cancer free now. Um, it's been a really long journey to get through here. Um, I've been dealing with bladder cancer for five and just over five years, almost six years now. Uh, and it's just amazing to go in and get checked and be like, Hey, it's not there. Um, so it's ridiculously happy news and that just brought on a flow of other good things that happened um i used to donate blood a lot before i got my cancer screening and you can't donate blood when you have cancer or you know you just don't um so i'm like i'm gonna sign up and give blood because you know i'm too excited not to um so here we are in the middle of training at like the peak hours and weeks and all of this other stuff and I don't care because I can give blood dad and it. Um, so I signed up the next day to give blood the first time last Tuesday. Uh, and it's a cutback week for me so it was great. Like yeah, I can just reschedule some things, go even slower and shorter, whatever. Um, so I signed up for that. My daughter, her, you know, found out that I was signing up for it real quick. And she goes, well, I'm going to sign up and give too. So she signed up to give for her first time. Um, she's never been able to because of the female weight limit that's on women. And so she finally meets that goal and like she can go get blood for her first time. And it went amazing and went great. I went in the next day at another off-site place at a Presbyterian church up in Durham or something and so happens the nurse that took blood from my daughter was also the same nurse that took blood from me wildly cool she remembered we had a great talk anyway I'm not saying go donate blood now but you know maybe after the race get off your hobble horse, go back and do something for the bigger community of all of us and give blood. Um, I got, last week I put out a thing in our newsletter here at work. I work at the Arts Center in Carborough and I'm asking for donations and all this stuff and I wound up getting a donation from a single donor that said, go out and buy all the equipment that you need to buy. And it winds up being, you know, it's a $2,000 donation. I've never had this happen to me before. I've never been involved in a you know, non-for-profit organization like this. And it's just really humbling to get somebody to like back you and say, yes, this is something that needs to move forward in this place. And I'm gonna back you and help you get this done. So extremely happy, proud moment. Um, and then my daughter, last week Monday I guess when she was giving they yeah the day she was giving blood said hey this Sunday i.e. today's Monday yesterday um 
said, I found a place in Durham, give them fairy hair. I'm like, great, we're going. It's a little fest, it's a little market they have down there in Durham. So, uh, we're like, great, we'll go. We wound up, you know, pick her up. Wife came, you know, we both got fairy hair. Yay. Um, really cool. Market was really fun, had a good lunch. And then there was also a bigger market called Centerfest going on. We went around, looked at all, you know, they got like, 140 some vendors out there in like a three block area and so we had a good time saw a bunch of people we knew and everything else um okay so that wraps up my like amazing week and there were so many other smaller moments in that week that like just layered on top of it i it has literally been ridiculous so let's move back on to race life and everything else um it was a 20 mile week uh which was great you know let's see how it was let's go from there so i did a workout monday went in and gave blood tuesday didn't do anything wednesday i didn't do anything either and thursday my daughter had found us a uh, spin class you know loud music you're in a dark room someone yelling at you over a speaker that i can't hear um and I did a spin class with my daughter. It was absolutely fun. Um, felt a lot better. I wound up right there at the last, they do a sprint thing at the last, and I could feel like after about two minutes into our, our, the last two minutes of our 45 minute workout, that like sprint wasn't happening anymore. Like, yeah, that was, we're giving blood two days before was, you're not having that, so. I just soft pedaled for the last like two, three, four minutes, whatever. Um, they were so excited. They had never had like a father daughter walk in there and like do a class together. It was hilarious. And we're like, we take a picture. Everybody wanted to talk to us. She's like, okay, come on. Um, so a spin class, that was really fun. Uh, 20 mile week. Um, so the blood donation thing I've done long distance bike riding and stuff. And, you know, I've worked out and given blood in this, this is the edge of, you know, with my age and active ability and what we're doing, trying to accomplish here running a hundred and what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. I've done it before, but maybe not in this personal body's condition at the, you know, I'm several years, I'm a lot older than I was when I had done this in the past. So my mileage this week has been fine. Went out for a 12 with my friend, which felt pretty normal. Recovery felt pretty normal. So that, you know, cool. Uh, I've been following a lot of the guidelines online for, you know, higher end athletes who train and give blood, maybe not this close to a, an event, um, which is right at the limit. Four to six weeks is about your endurance when it comes all back. And that was, you know, week six um, when I gave blood. So it'd be all right, right? It'd be fine. Um, no worries at all. Uh, so I've been watching and making sure that I'm eating all the good foods. I'm hydrating properly. I'm not missing anything. Um, I'm continuing to stretch. I'm continuing to observe how I feel all the time. Um, and to this point on all of my runs, I did a, uh, my three mile run, my three mile interval run this morning. And I felt really good. So I still feel good. I'll see how I react overnight and everything else and go into tomorrow. So it's, I'm still aware that I'm down a bit and I'm going to make sure that I modify anything I have to, to make sure I don't get injured. I don't overstress parts of my body because I have a lack of volume of blood in me, red blood cells in me specifically. Uh, the plasma stuff's come back and some other things come back, but that red blood cell that, you know, does all the oxygen flow to all the parts that we're trying to use, um, isn't quite back yet and won't be back for a while. So we'll watch all of that. Um, been trying to get memorized and 
figuring through, I went and um, was at Ultra Pace. So website, I'll try to link it below when I find it. Um, I used it for Umstead. There's a whole lot of races on it. I just downloaded the GPX file to the site and it gives you all the elevation where all the waypoints are, where all the everything is. It lists out all the aid stations um, and you can adjust your time and your preferences and put in notes for different places and all that stuff. It's a really fun tool to get way more in depth than you may want to. Um, I find it fun because it just, and relaxing and kind of gives me a peace of mind because I've memorized a lot of things like where's the next aid station? How long is it the next aid station? So it just becomes a secondary habit where as tired as I am, I know I don't have to remember because I just already know like, oh, it's 11 miles to Connor to aid station from Thurman. It's uh, whatever, 9.8 from Fayette to Erskine, I think it is, or 8.5 to Fayette to Erskine. So that'll be way in the morning, um, hopefully, when that happens. So it, it gives me a lot of time to like look at things and remember where climbs start and where effort has to be put in, where you can save a little bit more and get that functional brain space going of what's happening in my time on the course to just look and gaze and think more in your head, um, which helps you physically and mentally out there because you're not having to like, oh my God, I'm stressed about how much further, how long, where, where am I going, what's happening? Oh God, when's this climb stop? Well, you know, the way I study, I about know how long these big climbs are. There's like, what, four big climbs on this that are referable to like keep in the back of your head to plan food and eating and strategy and stuff so um fun thing to do i'll put that link to that site in i guess in the description that'd be cool maybe i could comment put it in the first comment i don't know how these things work i'm just a little following along doing this so um it's a big two weeks uh, coming up. This is my 17 day long block coming up. So, and then it's taper, like that's it. We're here, oh my word, what in the heck. So, let's all stay positive, let's stay happy, let's keep going. Um, if you have any questions for the race director, get them out now give them time to respond because there's a lot of us trying to do the same thing um if you have a question go to the website read the whole race pack and info it's very well informed um they've done a remarkable job at getting a packing it full of all of the generalized random questions you could think of there's always more stuff um but remember if you've done this before expect about the same as what's going to happen. Um, you know, all of these things are pretty much identical, especially for this race. It's, it's followed a good book on how to put out a hundred mile. And that's obvious because it's sell, sold out and we're entering a lottery next year. So, and for those of you who haven't done a hundred yet and is your first hundred, this is a great one to do. Um, They've followed the really good book. They've laid everything out. They, all the little things have been worked out and everything's, you know, the new things have been added to make it even better and more resourceful for us runners and crew likewise to do. Um, if you have questions, please get them out early to the race directors and they can coordinate you much better or just save them for when you show up at Packet Pickup on Friday you can ask any questions there. And you can ask questions of anybody standing around you. Hey, do you know this? And more than likely, one or two people standing in earshot are gonna go, oh no, don't worry. This is how this works. And be accurate. I mean, <laughs> so 
Let's have a good next week. Bye, y'all.